Well, Blackstone Group CEO Steve Schwartzman says U.S. investors are facing a big wake-up call amid mounting global or geopolitical uncertainty. He sat down with Yahoo Finance's Julia LaRoche to discuss the markets earlier and where he thinks the economy is headed. Well, we're not at the bottom and we're not in the middle. Uh, so, so I think it's uh, a time where U.S. is probably growing. I don't know. We'll find out retrospectively. But... You know, somewhere around 2%, maybe a tiny bit less. Um, we've got great consumers, 70% mm -hmm. of the economy, and manufacturing uh, going down, and, and stock markets uh, uh, pretty much at records. So, so in, in, you know, bond markets are sort of at records. And so usually when everything's doing records all the time, and, and there's a lot of geopolitical uncertainty, um, it, it's usually like a wake-up call, it's not red, uh, but it's yellow. Uh, and it, 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 it makes you be more conservative when, when you're investing. Uh, it makes you think more about downsides. It makes you want to buy higher quality things uh, because your chance of accidentally being lucky, uh, which happens at the bottom of a cycle, is much lower. And Julia LaRoche is with me here at the desk. So Steve Schwartzman, they're saying it's not red, right. it's yellow right now. And I know you spoke to him partly because he is out with the new book. Um, talking a bit about how you spot the markets or what signals you should be looking for. Well, look, his book, it's been 10 years in the making. It's called What It Takes, Lessons in the Pursuit of Excellence. And Steve Schwartzman comes from humble beginnings, built the Blackstone Group, which is one of the world's largest and most su successful asset managers, $545 billion. He has navigated through in his 40 plus year career on Wall Street, seven different downturns. And in his book, he talks about spotting market cycles, tops and bottoms. And I mean, he has some interesting viewpoints. It sounded like he was a little cautious there. That was my takeaway. But using his simple rules, his framework, some things to look for when there's a lot of loose credit and um, people start bragging about, hey, my outperformance, I'm outperforming, or you know a lot of people Maybe people who aren't that bright, who are just making tons of money. When it seems like all your friends are making tons of money, that's kind of a sign, okay, we're getting near mm. the top. Things are getting Those a little too sorts frothy. Of things, mm -hmm. A little too frothy. And then when it comes to bottoms, mm. he kind of warns that, look, bottoms are really hard to time. And it's actually not a good idea to even time it. And his general advice is, you know, wait until there's like a 10% gain to get in. I think that's probably pretty good advice because... Um, yeah, maybe you leave something on the table, but it's better to time it because that, not time it, but do it that way. Wait till there's run up, leave some of those gains on the table that you could have had if you were like such a great, I guess, stock market timer and who really is. No, I don't know. Uh, no one is, but I think that's pretty good advice for him. Does he see, you, you talk about some of those signals that he, he looks for when things are getting a bit too frothy. Did, did he say whether he sees some of that in the market right now? Because you're right, when you hear him, it sounds like he's not... He's not here to call the market, but he's saying, look, the caution is warranted given where things are right, right. now. I mean, look, we've, we're like 10 plus years now into an expansion. I mean, it, how long is it going to last? I mean, he was pointing to the consumer in those comments. So the consumer is still really strong, and that's what's been driving the U.S. economy. Um, but we didn't get into the nitty-gritty details because you can only do so much <laughs> in a 30-minute interview. Of course, I would have follow-up questions, and who wouldn't have uh, those sorts of questions for Mr. Schwarzman? But again, the book, it's a great read. It's a guide for young people who want to start out in the business, maybe any other business, because this person, things I learned about him, he's a go-getter. He would set goals and go get them, starting in high school, running for a student office, or bringing in some big rock band to his high school, things like that, just throughout his life. That's one of the threads. Great book for young people. Okay, Julia LaRoche, thanks so much for joining yeah. us. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.